Hey folks, Nicholas Field here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable 32-bit float on an 8-series Sound Devices mixer recorder. So the first thing you're going to do is turn on your machine, and you want to make sure that you're running 10.01 firmware or higher. So that'll just display right here. If you have an older firmware, just go, go to the Sound Devices website, update your machine, and you'll be able to use this feature. Yeah, the next step is to just press Menu. You're going to go into your record slash play menu, and then you're going to choose track to media routing. This feature only works when you're recording to two media. Um, I guess it uses too much processing power to record to three media simultaneously at 32 bit. So since you can only choose two media to write to, you have to uh, decide which ones you want that to be. And so in this case, I'm going to choose SSD and SD1. And you can only choose ISOs and left R. Okay, you can't choose all. And this is because when you're recording 32-bit, it records to two folders. Um, one folder is going to be your 24-bit mix track, and the other folder is going to be your ISO tracks. And that's just how it's set up. So you see once you choose two and you choose ISO left or right, it allows you to also enable this 32-bit float setting. So you're just going to toggle that on, and now we're set up to record 32-bit float for ISO tracks and a 24-bit mix track. And you'll see down where the FPS is displayed, it also displays 24B plus 32BF. Um, so that's kind of telling you that you're in that mode, um, just so that you can keep track of it. Now, it's important to remember that your 24-bit mix track is utilizing the limiters on your ISOs. Okay, so essentially you want to be recording at a decent level when you can. Like, think of it as, as though you're still recording in 24-bit. So don't turn off your limiters because you're going to want those limiters activated for the tracks that are being routed to the mix track, if that makes sense. Um, essentially, you're, you're going to have the raw 32-bit files that are not going to be impacted by the limiter, even though it's on. And then you're also going to get the 24-bit that has uh, potentially limiting applied um, and that's just how it's set up. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions uh, or comments. And if you like this video, please do me a favor and like and subscribe to my channel. It goes a long way in supporting what I do. Peace.